The Milton Animal Shelter was built 30 years ago as a temporary place to house stray dogs from Milton. Over the years, it has evolved to be a busy place that houses cats, dogs, and small animals from Milton, as well as helping other Massachusetts animal control departments and shelters without adoption programs. Although our needs have changed and grown, the building hasn't. The current facility is antiquated and dilapidated and does not meet the physical, social, or emotional needs of the animals that we help. The need for a new building is evident as soon as you walk in the door. The office area is much too small and is the only space to do adoptions and enter the animal areas. Visitors' first impression is seeing duct tape covering the many holes in the walls. Cats have an innate need to stretch and explore their environment. The tiny cages that they live in at the shelter does not allow for that basic need. Cats being in such close proximity to each other while being confined is very stressful. It can actually lower their immune system and lead to illness. The room itself leaks with every rain or snowstorm, with water coming in from the windows, down from the skylight, and even up from the floor. The enclosed cat window has chunks of concrete pulling up from the base, and the shelves and the windowsill there are rotting. When the cat areas were added to the building, no heat sources were installed. The two cat rooms are heated with space heaters, which are not reliable, nor are they efficient. The second cat room is used for intake and isolation. It's ironic, as this room, that should be clean and sterile, is probably the worst room in the shelter. The windows leak and the sills are rotting. On the walls and ceiling above both windows are large amounts of mold and fungus. With no proper ventilation, this contributes to unhealthy conditions for both the cats and the people taking care of them. The dog kennels are in poor shape as well. The Milton Animal League is a nonprofit group of volunteers who is desperately trying to raise the funds needed to build a new shelter. We're not trying to get bigger, just better. We have the architect's drawings and we have the land. Now we need the funds. The new shelter is expected to cost between one and a half to two million dollars. The animals deserve a safe, dry, warm place that meets their physical and emotional needs while waiting for their permanent homes. Help us make this dream a reality and help us to help them.